Hello there, Herman. That's Morales. What the fuck's on your shirt? Dodo birds. Why are you wearing a dodo bird shirt? Because they look stupid. But they're smart. Okay. That's cool. Sounds like civil approval. We start the interview now? How much am I getting paid for this? Uh, you get paid nothing. When it goes to the families, besides, you said you want to tell your side of the story. It's part of the story. How much? I don't know the standard for the story, by course. There's no standards for what I've done, so. You killed 42 people, Herman? Happens in the world once a week. What makes you so special? I'm a 16 year old from a white middle class family. I'm not some Arab sucker who grew up playing with pebbles and thinks he's a martyr and is gonna go to heaven and lay 72 virgins. Have you ever been with a virgin, Lax? If that's heaven, Islam's more fucked up than Christianity. You religious, sir? God's dead. Where'd you read that at? You picked on a lot of school work? Every day. Tell me about it. Just the jocks would call me names and say, say that I was small and yank my underwear on my ass. I don't fucking know. Same shit different day. <laughs> so if Eric and Dylan never did what they did in Colorado, would you have done? But they did. Okay. Let's pretend that they did. After Columbine, nerds started getting respect. Now that I've hit the scene, we're gonna be running the schools. You feel like you're part of a revolution. Once every kid finds out about what I did in schools across America, the same thing's gonna go down. We're gonna take over. What about the 39 kids you shot and killed in cold blood, Herman? Weren't they part of your revolution? No, they grew me in with the freaks. They thought I was a nerd. They just, they didn't give a shit at all. Well, well, Justin Brinkley, he was a freak. But you killed him anyway. I paid that asshole a favor. They, they thought I was a loser. They thought, they, they didn't respect me. I matter, Lax. You think that anyone could just do what I did? I'm Herman Howards. And now I'm going to go down in history. You know, I'm talking about that for 16 years. I'm not the average 16-year-old. I'm America's worst nightmare.